Good morning, happy Monday. Hello. Let me know, Judy's here. I'm not sure who else is coming, but we're here. We're gonna do our squats, not squats, push-ups. <laughs> squats is next month. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing the challenges and we'll be doing them at the nine or 10 o'clock live, but we've got 20 push-ups. 20 um, core things and I'll just come up with some some exercises for us <laughs> oh yay oh yay <laughs> who's here is this Carrie I care. Is that our Carrie? no it's Claire no yeah. Carrie hey Claire good morning there's Carrie and girls good morning so we don't need anything for yin yin is a slow kind of held gentle I want to say gentle but some of the poses are deep but that's where the yin comes in. You just hang out. But we are gonna do our 20 push-ups, then we're going to, I'm gonna get my timer. I didn't do that yet. One minute for our plank. So let me get my timer. Let me get that over with. One minute. Plank first or push-ups We'll do push-ups first. I gotta get them out of the way. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, get those push-ups out of the way. Okay, 20. On or off your knees, up against a wall, do whatever you need. Take the legs back, nice and strong in that belly, and here we go, dig it down. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going strong, nine, ten, halfway, ten, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, come on, three, two and one huh let the wrist go shake it out a little bit yeah one minute in your plank i'm gonna be on my elbows you can do it any way you want come on down we've got the timer here we go so wherever you are hands are open shoulders are relaxed belly's nice and tight hopefully everybody had a good weekend turn sideways a little bit goes by so fast right and yesterday there was like no humidity it was yesterday feeling was nice. it was feeling like fall yeah like I even opened the windows shut the air off so it was nice this morning was nice too mm -hmm. we are halfway bellies and we're gonna go right into our knee drops and we got 20 yeah 20s this week and then we have one more week of August so we're gonna go 25 yes I know, summer's gone too fast. Less than 15, my friends. Stay with it. Pull that belly tight. We have 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let it go. Ah, take it down. Stop. Alright. Okay, I did say stop. <laughs> what the heck? Cancel. <laughs> Go figure. Alrighty. Let's do our knee drops. You can be on your elbows. So you're going to pull that belly in. Lift it. There it is. Drop your knees down. And two. Push those heels back. Three, four, five, and six. Nice and strong. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Ten, and nine, eight. Seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Relax it, yes. We're gonna swing it around. Sometimes I'll do the rest of our core at the end of class, but being that we're doing yin today, I don't think I wanna do that, so I wanna get the core out of the way. I'm just gonna spin around. So we're gonna start with our scissor kicks. Scissors, slow and controlled. You can be on your elbows or up into your hands. You choose. So you're gonna lean back, legs are up. Here it is, down. And two, three, four, five. Squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, 10, halfway, 10. And nine, eight, seven. Six, almost there. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Bring it in. Nice little stretch around that spine. Hands to the shins, maybe do a little rock. Okay, from here, we're gonna do side little obliques. So let's go to our left side. Knees are stacked and your elbows directly under your shoulder. We're gonna lift the legs up and we're gonna drop the hips down and up. So we're gonna lift, right arm can lift, we're gonna drop down and lift. We have 20 and three, four, push those hips high, five and six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Look at that pretty sky behind me. 11 and 12. 13, reach, 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 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, and 20. Ah, let's swing it around. Other side, no, you guys couldn't see my face, but that's okay. <laughs> Saw what I was doing. Same thing, other side, make sure your hip and shoulders are on something cushiony, elbow directly under that shoulder. We're gonna lift. Left arm high, here it goes, take it down. One, two, three, and four, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, smile, 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 12, 13, 14, 15, so close, 18, 19, 20, take it down, nice job. Let's do one more on our backs. We're gonna do draw elbows in towards the knees. So kind of like a bicycle. You do not have to touch your knees. In fact, I don't want you to touch your knees. Legs come up into that 90, like you're sitting in a chair so you see your toes. Hands to the ears, you're gonna kick one leg out, you're gonna reach elbow to the sky, not the knee, and switch, slow and controlled. Switch, two, and three. Four. Think about that waistline. Pull down. Five. Six. Seven. Keep going. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Come on. Nine. And eight. Seven. Six. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, relax the head, pull the legs in. All right, let's go right into Yin from here. If you need a quick drink, go ahead, grab it. I'm gonna find my music. And stay where you are on your backs. Yep, stay right there. Side of being out here. <laughs> We're smelling Vesta. Uh -huh. Make you hungry. Okay, so remember, yin is all about letting go. Letting go, releasing, giving yourself some grace, giving yourself some time to be present in the moment. And type in the comments before we get going if there's anything you want to target. Yin typically targets the hips and the low back, kind of the female areas that we tend to have tightness. So let's go right with that low back area. Let me just see if you're typing comments. I got my glasses on, I can see it. Who do we have? Tony, good morning, Tony and Tess and Jean, good morning. <laughs> Claire drinking her Digestion Plus. I drank mine this morning. <laughs> now I've got my Mind Health and my Fizzy, a little apple cider vinegar and some lemon, delicious. All right, gang. So you're down on your back like we were. Elbows relaxed, hands to your shins. And just close your eyes. So right now we are outside looking up to that pretty blue sky. So as we soften, let the legs fall out. Just let them fall out and just do a little rock. Let your whole back relax and soften because we hold all day long. Standing up, pulling in, lifting. So right now just let yourself go. Maybe roll the ankles a little. Soften your face, your jaw, your eyes. Other way. 
And let's bring our knees towards one another and see if you can hug the legs in. Maybe grab palms to the elbows, maybe not. But what I want you to do is feel the lower back come off the mat. So with my yin class, I like to have you visualize typically the colors of chakras. The chakras are the energy centers that run along the spine. So, and we're, we're in the pose for a little while, so it's a little easier. Don't get stressed out if you can't see it, but if you do, look, welcome it. Like, let yourself just be open to maybe seeing some colors this morning. So do a little rock. And right now, feel the upper body relax to the mat. Feel the tail lift. And just think about beautiful white lights shining down on you. So what we're gonna do is kind of play with our breath with a little bit of movement. It's slow and it's controlled. Right now, take an in-breath, pull your legs inward, and then slide your hands apart so your legs release and your lower back comes to the floor. You're not taking your feet to the floor. You're gonna pull in on the in-breath, hug tight so your tail lifts. Exhale, release. Now visualize as you do that ocean wave. Like inhale, feel that ocean wave come in. Exhale, imagine that ocean wave rushing out to sea. Powerful and strong, that's our breath today. Releasing. Now think about what your body needs and imagine as you take those in breaths with that ocean energy, you're pulling in. Say, I am breathing in positive energy. I am breathing in healthy energy. I am breathing in strength. Pull it in, let go. Pull it in. Now imagine letting go of tightness, tension, worry. Let's do that one more time and then slowly let the legs push away. Kind of let the feet dangle, arms by your sides, make little circles in the sky with your knees. Again, massaging that lower back. Nice and easy. Let's change direction. We're going to go right into a couple twists because twists are really powerful for our spine and for our insides. So come into stillness. Let your feet come to the mat. Legs nice and tight. Let's open up the arms, palms face up. So right here, I want you to let your legs drop to the right side and look left. Close your eyes. Taking the awareness to your belly, to your breath. Feel the belly expand. And then squeeze the navel in. Feel the belly expand. Call in. Again, every time, like throughout this class, I want you to draw energy in. Think about pulling that positive energy, healing energy, vibrant energy, strong energy, all in. And letting go, releasing of the stuff that doesn't serve us, stress or worry. So let's take this twist one step further. Your right leg, I want you to take it out and I want you to bring it up and over, kind of lock it on top of the left leg. And if you can see, my right leg's up on top. And you should feel a little deeper stretch that left side, that IT band into the hips, maybe even into your lower back. Can we roll the head side to side? Maybe wiggle the jaw. Soften the face. Soften the eyes. And visualize, again, that beautiful white light energy pouring down on you. So notice how the side feels. You don't have to do anything, just notice. We're gonna let our right leg fall off. Pulling the navel in, squeeze on the exhale, come upright. Bring the legs back together. Not sure if you guys can see me very well. See if that's any better. And then we're gonna take the legs left. You're gonna rotate left. Look right, close your eyes, let those hands relax. And notice how this side feels. Is there a difference? Maybe, maybe not. Envision right now, we're twisting this beautiful tapestry, very valuable tapestry. And we're twisting it from the very top of the crown all the way through our tailbone. Now let's go a little deeper here. Take the left leg out, bring it up and over. So you're locking it over on top of the right leg, anywhere above the knee and just rest. You're gonna feel it on that whole right side. 
Let's take thumb and all four fingers together and just roll the wrist. Nice and easy. Other way. And then relax the arms. Palms facing up. Thinking about what you'd like to cultivate today. What do you want to call in? Call in with your breath. Let's slowly let the left leg fall off. Squeeze the belly, come back to center. Let's take the arms by your sides, feet about hip width. We're gonna go into a bridge. Thinking about our heart center, the color green. So as your arms are relaxed by your sides, Judy and I can see this beautiful tree in front of us. So I want you to envision green at your heart, like you're looking out over a field of green grass. Push down into the earth, pull the belly in and lift high. Pressing through the heels, hold it here. Shoulders are relaxed, they're anchored to the floor, belly's nice and tight and you're lifting high. So if at home, if you have a block or a blanket or something you can put under your lower back to lift you a little higher, we can come up on our tippy toes if you like, go a little higher. And let those heels drop, pick your toes up. Push those hips, keep them high. Let your toes drop. Can we kick our right leg to the sky? Roll that ankle around, up to that sky. Other way, nice full circles, loosening things up and then slowly release. Back down, same thing, other side. Take it high to the sky, roll the ankle. Other way. And hold, flex foot, take it down. Slowly take it down, one vertebrae at a time. Pull the legs in, lift your head up, make yourself into that tiny little ball. So from here, we're gonna roll over to our right side and sit it up. Over to the right side, sit it up. And let's stay in easy seated position. So easy seated is crisscross legs. If this doesn't work for you, one leg in, one leg out. So as we grow tall, I welcome you to close the eyes. We're gonna go right into a twist and then we'll go a little deeper. So send the arms to that sky. Lift, lift, lift. Right hand's gonna go right to the left thigh. Left hand back, look back. So starting with your eyes, look down to the back corner of your mat. And think about twisting from the navel center. Rotate the ribs, looking back. Now without moving our head, I want you to move your eyes up and down. Up and down. And then soften your gaze, close the eyes. Make a small adjustment. Can you make a small adjustment to go a little deeper? Exhale, let's rise up. Lift, lift, lift. Same thing, other side. Left hand's going to the left, right thigh. Right hand pulls back, look back. Eyes open to start. We're gonna go side to side with our gaze. Working those eye muscles. Again, head's not turning. Move your eyes, left and right. Take your time and go as far left as you can, as far right as you can. And then lift top. Soften your eyes, close the eyes, and hold. Twist from that navel. Twist back a little further. Notice how it feels in the hips. So as we twist and lift, I want you to think about orange energy at your hips. Orange like my yoga mat. Orange like a field of pumpkins or mums. Slowly come back to center. And now whatever leg is in front, I want you to switch it. So we're gonna stay here just a little longer. Open up, let those sit bones drop. Let's take our right ear over. Right hand at the side of the face, left arm up, parallel to the floor. Close the eyes again. Can we rotate like you're twisting a doorknob? Move from the shoulder. And then let, it, let your left hand come down to the mat, push into the palm. Feel the stretch activate a little more. Let the legs relax. Imagine orange energy through the hips. Belly's drawn in, lift a little taller. Now take your right hand to the back of the head and drop your chin. Use your belly, stay nice and lifted. Back to the side of the face, bring your ear to the shoulder, chin back up. Push with your left palm, anchor to the mat. Feel that little stretch. One more time, hand to the back side of the head, drop the chin. Release the hand, 
Lift the head up, shake it out. Let's do it on the other side. Left ear's coming over. Left hand the side of the face, right arm up. Rotate, like you're twisting a doorknob. Move that shoulder. Crack, crack, crack. Anybody else have cracks going on? Uh-huh. And then let your right hand drop. Push into the palm. Feel the activation to that right side. Uh, let the legs relax. Don't hold them. Hand to the back side of the neck. Gently drop chin towards your chest. Back up. Hand to the side of the face. Lift a little taller. So I was kind of starting to slouch down. I want you to say, nice and lifted. Use your belly. Stay up. Push into your palm. Notice how it feels. So with active hand, like press down into the mat, left hand to the back side of the head, let your chin drop. Now release the left hand, take a big breath. Head comes up, both hands to the earth, press down, let your head fall back, look up. Imagine that blue sky, we can see it. You can see it if you're watching the screen. Little smile, chin drops back down. So the throat chakra color is blue. Try it again. Press down into the palms. Sit bones anchored. Bellies in. Lift your head up and back. Look to that blue sky. And slowly drop down. This time let's take our hands to our knees. Take a nice cat stretch. Round and hold. Slowly pull back. Lift your heart. Lift your chin up. Now like an ocean wave. Inhale round. Exhale, lift. Imagine that wave of energy pulling in. Call in what you need, what you desire to pull in today. Release, let go. One more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift up. Let's kick the legs out. So open those eyes and the legs long. I'm going to turn sideways a little bit. So let's just start here. Legs about hip width, just shake them out. So if you have a strap at home or a block or a ball, you can use that to kind of lean into. It's really not about touching your toes. So let's start by flex feet, push through the heels, lifting tall, and then point your toes. Flex, point. Now relax your feet, walk down your legs, reach for your toes. But if you can't get them, it's not a big deal. If you can, great. So soften your face, look down towards your knees. It's not really about your toes. I want you to bend the elbows and draw down. Can you get your elbows towards the floor? And I'm super tight, probably because I haven't done yoga since Friday night. I had a weekend, I didn't do any yoga really. So notice how this forward fold feels for you. Is it super tight? Now I want you to bend both knees enough so you can get your toes and roll those toes around. We'll come back to that. Both feet, roll those toes the other direction. Get under the arches, little squeezes. It might be really tight. It might feel knobby. Or like you got little rocks in there. That's your gut, just telling you. Take your toes, curl them under, let your shoulders round and then pull the toes back, let your shoulders arch. One more time around it, and pull back. So let's go into that forward fold one more time. Left leg out, right leg's just gonna fall out to the side. We're gonna slide down. You might get a little further because now we have only one foot that is extended. Reach for your toes, your ankles, your shins, lean. Now as you hang out here, Notice the stretch through the back side of the body. I'm really tight on my right side today, so I feel more of a stretch in my right hip than I am in my left leg. Maybe you are too, I don't know. Let's walk it back up. We're gonna go into a twist from here. Both hands to that left leg, look over the shoulder, left hand presses back and see if you can anchor. And I'm gonna welcome you to close the eyes as you twist and lift. Think about being settled, like rounded and rooted through your sit bones, but gently lifted through the spine. Heart center is open. Crown is lifted. Visualizing that beautiful tapestry that we're twisting from end to end. Let's do one more big, big lift and twist 
and slowly on the exhale, come back one more time, lean forward, go for that leg. Grab your foot, your toes. Notice how it feels, because we'll be going to the other side in a moment. And let's walk it up. Release right leg out, shake them both out. So same thing, left side, we're gonna pull our left leg in, lift tall, find the sit bones, flex your foot, walk it down, reach. So you have your towel, you can always even use it as like a little strap. You get your legs, you get your foot. So again, if you can't get your foot, it's not a big deal, but if you can, go for it, pull in. Try not to round, try to pull so the upper body is kind of hanging over your leg. And then just notice how it feels. Where's your greatest stretch? You feel it in your hamstring, you feel it in your back, you feel it in the left side. Again, I'm feeling it in my left side. I guess my hamstrings aren't as tight as my hips <laughs> today. Let's walk it up. We're gonna rotate both hands, that right leg with over the shoulder, then reach the right hand back. Closing the eyes. Feel the lift. Sit bones are anchored and rooted. You're grounded, but at the same time, you're lifting tall. Imagine that beautiful blue sky up above. Sun shining down on you. Looking out over that field of green leaves or green trees or green grass. One more big breath. Lift, 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 and twist. And slowly make your way back to center. Last one, forward fold. Reach for it. Can you bend the elbows, maybe? And then making your way back up. Both legs out, shake it out. Let's come into a nice straddle stretch. And then we're gonna stand up today, because I know for the last few weeks we kind of stayed down. Some days we do stay down. So right now, I want you to lean. Whatever you can do, if you have a prop, a pillow, um, a block or a ball, you can cradle, you can stack your fists. So just do whatever you feel, you know, go to a place where you feel good. Typically, pre-COVID, I would use blocks and blankets to help us get there. <laughs> so you'd have some things to kind of settle in, but now we just don't use that stuff right now. So maybe wiggle the toes, maybe shake the legs in and out, notice how it feels. So I want you to think about your shoulder blades, the back of your back, and imagine, just like in a forward fold, I say let go of your stuff, right? So imagine on your in-breath, like that ocean wave coming in, your shoulders are expanding, and it's letting go. You're letting go of stuff that doesn't serve you, and then as you exhale, imagine, visualize it going out to sea. Inhale, lift. Now, I like to exaggerate my inhale, I lift, and then exhale, sink. You could do that if you want. Or visualize, inhale, that wave coming in. Shoulder blades expand, freeing up any of that negative stuff. And then exhale, sink. Now focus on what you're calling in. Only positive, my friends. Positive energy, so I am breathing in peace, calm, love, positive health. I don't know, vibrancy, abundance, whatever it is, think about calling it in. So as your shoulders expand on the in-breath, you're filling yourself up. Now walk your hands in. Lift off. Take the hands behind. Interlace fingers, one more. If you can get your hands together, go ahead, arms rise, dive forward. Crown down, arms up. Probably not gonna go very far and that's okay. Feel the stretch through your chest. Heart center is open. Feel the orange energy through the hips. Maybe wiggle the toes again. Lift a little higher. Breathe into your heart center. And then let the hands relax. Release the fingers. Slide them out to your legs and walk them in. Uh, let's transition to tabletop. I want you to grab a quick drink. Quick drink. We are going to make our way upright. Sun is trying to come out. All right, gang. 
flat back. Belly's in, hands super wide. So I just want you to hold it here. I want you to pull that navel in, shoulders are back and down. And then I want you to turn your toes, lift the knees and hover. So we did knee drops already. We're not gonna drop, we're just gonna hold. I want you to think about your belly, pull that belly tight and imagine the color yellow. Yellow like sunflowers, yellow like rays of the sun. Shoulders are back, squeeze the knees together, pull that belly tight. Now lift all the way up into a down dog, push through the heels. Hold still here. Make any adjustments you need. Maybe your feet are touching the floor, your heels, maybe not. Shoulders are broad, hands are wide. Push into the hill, like you're pressing up a hill. Feel the texture of your mat through your fingertips. Gazing to your toes. Both toes are facing forward and they're about the width of, a, of a, uh, your hips and they're like facing like an H. Now let's bend our right knee just a little bit. And the left. One more time. Bend. And bend. So both heels are grounded. Pull that navel in. Arch your lower back just slightly. Feel the activation through the back side of your body. And then tuck the tail under. We're going to walk our hands in. And I want you to hang in forward fold. Now hands to the mat or dangle. Let the arms you know, grab your elbows turn sideways if that does if it's too much you can certainly take your hands to your shins let your upper body dangle bend your right knee so whatever feels good remember this is all about you what works for you any remaining tension rolling down your back switch sides bend the left leg and you're literally just letting the upper body hang giving yourself grace to release. Now bend both knees. Let's take the hands behind our back side, palms to the elbows, so get really tight. You might have to move your feet a little closer. Hug, hug, hug. Try to straighten the legs. Hello, hamstrings. Yep, and glutes. Bend again. One more time, lift and straighten, hold. Feel the work, allow it to happen. Soften your face, your jaw, your eyes. Strong legs, lift that tail, pull the belly in. Can you tighten a little more, maybe? Maybe not. Let's release the hands, bend the knees, walk them to the thighs, lift your chest up. So again, I'm gonna have to move my mat, I'm gonna have to move my picture, my, my camera. So right here, you're lifting, kind of in that awkward hanging over let the arms dangle, wiggle the fingers, and I want you to circle the arms, let the shoulders just kind of free up a little bit, and then whatever direction they're going, change it. Now we're gonna sweep to the sky, knees are bent, rise it up, ah, lift, 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 slight back bend, gazing up, looking to that sunny blue sky, hands come together in the prayer, and then pull in towards your heart center. Shake it out, stay here, just gonna move my Camera. We're not going to stay up very long, but just so you can see me. Okay, so start with a mountain pose. So your feet are about hip width, toes super wide. So our feet are what ground us every day, walking, walking around. So let's roll in and out. Take a moment and just kind of feel the connection through your feet. Hopefully your bare feet. Let's open the toes really wide and then curl. So you're opening wide and curl. So you try to pick your mat up. One more. Let's take right foot curl under. Release that top of the foot. And switch other side. One more, both ways. Right side. And left. And let it go. So again, reset, palms face forward in that true mountain pose. I welcome you to close the eyes, squeeze the muscles in your legs and that navel. Ribs are down, fingers are actively reaching to the earth as your crown lifts up. Feel that little breeze. Imagine that beautiful sunlight energy showering down just like we are right now outside. You can hear our nature sounds, that little breeze. Soften the squeeze, but don't collapse. One more time. Breathe in what you need today. 
heart is open, you're receptive, you're receiving this positive energy. Squeeze the muscles in your legs, pull that navel tight, shoulders retract down, rib cage down, squeeze the muscles in your arms. Lift the crown, chin is parallel to the earth, and then soften. Gently take the head back as if you're looking up to the sky. Let that throat open, maybe wiggle the jaw. Take the tongue to the roof of the mouth, right back to neutral, sweep the arms to the sky. So as you reach tall, I want you to make cactus arms or goalie pose. Pull those shoulders down, lift your rib cage. So think about lifting up, look up. Uh, tongue to the roof of the mouth, come back to center, now push. Let's step our feet a little wider. It's called five-pointed star. I want you to take your palms facing forward. So you're doing one of these. Toes are turned or are forward right now. I want you to imagine you're drawing inwards. You're squeezing the muscles in your legs and your arms are lifted tall. Press, press, press. Soften it. Now take your toes slightly on the corners. So you're on the angles. Same move. Squeeze. Draw the legs in. Tight, tight, tight. Shoulders are down. Lots of energy. And soften. One more here. Zip those legs up. Crown lifts all the way to that sky. Press, press, press. And soften. Right hand's coming down. Left arm's going straight up. Lean. Use your right hand as first support. Can you look up? Now feel the connection. Rather than just pay attention to that left foot, push down on it. Press into the foot. Like you're imprinting in the sand. Reach a little further. Left arm's going to lift. Use your belly. Rise. Left hand comes down, right arm, stretch up and lean. Same thing. Using your left hand for support, push down that right foot. Imprint in the sand, feel the connection. Notice what's going on, your activation through that right side. Nice and easy, lift, relax down. Toes stay turned out, I want you to get into a low squat. Plie squat, then we're coming to the mat. Sink a little lower. Okay, from here, I want you to press into the legs. So you're pushing into your legs. You can do a little rock. Oh, yeah. So this is hip. The color is orange. You saw my mat, orange mat. Judy's got her orange mat. Can you go a little lower? Press into your legs. Think about orange through the hips, like a river flowing. Ah. So we're going to go a little deeper. We're going to take hands to heart. If you can, elbows to the legs. You might have to adjust your feet. I just had to move my feet in a little closer. Heads up, chest up, press. Ah, hello hips. Uh -huh. So good for you. So we're gonna slowly come out, lift. We'll do it one more time. Shake those hips. Maybe do a little circle, uh-huh. One more time. You're gonna go to that place that feels the best for you. Envision energy from the ground up and orange at those hips, so sink. Let the elbows drop. This might be it for you. Press. Head up, chest up. Hands to prayer. And then get a little lower. Ah. Pushing your hands together. You can do a little shift. Beautiful. We're just going to stay here for another 20 minutes, no, okay? we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Let the hands drop. Lift your tail. I am with you. Shake that head out. Shake, shake, shake. So we're going to make our way down. We're going to hold and plank. Hands are wide. Let's step our right leg back, left leg back. Hold. So if you can, come down into that low plank position. Hold. Belly's in. Drop your knees and push up. Sink back. Take a child pose. I'm going to move my mat, my screen back down. Okay, so we're going to hold in a child pose. Start with your knees together. Sink. Let the forehead come down. How about we stack the fist and stimulate that third eye? Right between the brow. Do a little circle, a little massage. And I want you to envision the color purple. Lavender or lilac. Circle both ways. And just stay here. So as you're pressing into that third eye point, visualize you're looking out over a field, and now there's a field of lavender. 
or a field of, I don't know, irises. I always visualize irises. It's kind of that great strong purple color. But whatever purple jumps in your head, maybe think of amethyst, that purple. And see if you can call it right to that brow. And we're gonna do one more stimulation for our crown chakra. And it actually will stimulate all of the, the chakras in our spine. So we're gonna go into rabbit pose. I'm gonna turn again sideways so you can see me. But I would like you to keep your knees kind of tight, maybe make a slight adjustment so they get tight, tight, tight. We're gonna reach the hands back. Chin pulls in towards your knees, actually towards your chest. Your nose is coming towards your knees. Your crown's gonna go to the floor and we're gonna lift our tail. So your butt's in the air and you're holding. So as you linger here, I like to do a little rock. Kind of like side to side. And really feel the whole back. Take it down, take a breather. Maybe make a slight adjustment. Knees are really tight. Nose gets really close. Hands to the tops of the feet, lift it high. So you're stimulating your crown chakra here. Imagine that white light surrounding us. And then lower back down, hands back to the mat. Lift yourself up all the way. Nice work. So we're gonna swing it around. I'm gonna adjust my mat one more time. I guess I'll stay sideways. All right. So from here, we're gonna come down. We're gonna do a one more chest heart opener. So the color is green, but let's use our bellies to get down. Why not? So we're gonna go into boat pose. So hands are on the back side of the thighs. I know I'm super close now. We're gonna lift our feet. So you choose. You can hold on the whole time. You can keep your feet dangling or you can extend. Totally up to you. Gazing to your toes can be released. Now the color at our belly is yellow. So shoulders are down. I'm gonna keep my arms parallel. Can you flex your feet? Point your toes. Flex. Point. Can you stagger your legs? Hold it. Belly strong. See that? Feel that yellow. Feel that little fire in your belly. Bring the legs together and stagger. You can do this with bent knees. Come on, one more time. Legs together, stagger. Legs together, stagger. Legs together, feet down, lift. Ah. One more time, one more time. Focus on that yellow in your belly. Round the spine and lift. Release the hands to the back side of the legs. Lean back, decide where you need to be. Choose it. So for a little challenge, turn your toes out. So heels kiss like a Pilates stance. Release the hands. Stagger, hold. Shoulders are down. Can you look over the right shoulder? Come center, look left. Center. Legs together. Stagger, look left. Center, right. Center, stagger. Feet down, lift. Nice job. Say so we're done. We're coming down. <laughs> Let's work our way all the way down. And once you're here, feet are still grounded. Pull those legs in just like we started, but this time take soles of the feet together. Little rock. Soles of the feet together. Yeah, it feels good. Great day. And then right back to center. Let's hold our right leg in, left leg long. Pointing your toes, pull, pull, pull. Gently draw left leg in, right leg long. And pull back, both feet to the mat. So what I want you to do is send the legs long. We're gonna take our hands and lift your tush. So you're gonna slide your hands underneath your butt as if your hands are going into your back pocket. And we're gonna lift our heart center. This is our final lift. I want you to think about heart and throat Green energy at your heart, blue at our throat. So press into the forearms, lift your chest up. Now, I like the feeling of letting my head drop and hang. You might not. You can take your crown to the floor if you want. Otherwise, push your rib cage up. Point your toes with some energy in your legs. Lift that chest. Imagine green, beautiful energy at your heart. Blue at your throat like that blue sky and that beautiful sun shining down on us. 
So wherever you are with your head, take your tongue to the roof of the mouth, bring your head to center. Carefully come down, work those elbows out. Take the hands away and then reach long. Point your toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. And shake it out, arms by your sides. Legs, open them wide and shake in and out. Big toe in, little toe out. Just do that a couple times. So traditional relaxation pose is right here. You could stay where you are or soles of feet can come together, crisscross ankles, curl up on a ball, whatever feels good for you, I want you to get comfortable. I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit of breath work and then pick two cards and read them. So first and foremost, give yourself permission to relax, permission to let go and quiet the mind and just say, this is my time to press that reset, my time to fill my body up, again, with that positive energy, healing energy, whatever you are thinking about cultivating today, call it in. Imagine that powerful force of an ocean, like our ocean wave, pulling in and out, Feeding your body with that positive energy, strength, and all the other good stuff we're calling in. And letting yourself sink. Maybe wiggle the shoulders. Maybe make a small adjustment through the legs. Wiggle the jaw. Maybe roll that tongue up and down, side to side. So as we hang out here, heavy against the earth, let's just kind of draw the awareness from the crown of our head. So we stimulate our crown chakra, which is white, like that light pouring down on you. And if you like, depending on the position you're in, lift your chin up slightly so you can open up that throat one more time. Imagine blue, blue at that throat chakra. And then bring your chin in, maybe roll the head from side to side, stretching that neck, that cervical spine. you to think about your heart center. Let your upper body sink. Broaden the shoulders. Feel that green energy at your heart. Visualizing again. Green energy. Vibrant energy. Hands could be by your sides or take them to your middle. So I picked two cards. The first one is purple, which is our crown chakra. Not our crown, our third eye chakra. And it says compassion. Says the universe is tender toward my heart. I count this as a great blessing and I trust it. Frightened, threatened, or overwhelmed, I place my emotional safety in the hands of a loving universe. I ask for protection, wisdom, and discernment. Compassion, it's purple. So the next one is red. Red is our base chakra, our root chakra. Talked a little bit about red as we were standing and sitting. Says my life is a treasure. The life which I have now is rich and beautiful, intricate and valuable. I cherish the abundance which has come to my door. I take the time and attention to focus on the precise components of my life which please me. That's a good one. Life is a treasure. So whatever one kind of resonates with you or just spoke to you more, just think about it for a moment. Compassion, being in a good place, having kindness for yourself, those blessings. And then even when things are rough, the universe will serve you. You just have to, I guess, be open to it. And then, of course, having a rich and beautiful, valuable life. Cherish the abundance, the good stuff. I know for our happy hour Fridays, I always have people think about a nugget. Just like a little nugget that happened throughout your day or your week that made joy kind of jump into your heart. So it's kind of the same thing. Like just feel like that overwhelming, beautiful feeling of love and compassion in your heart. And give yourself a little little smile on your face because you just gave yourself this little bit of peace and quiet and balance and strength all mixed in one. And then reach the arms overhead. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Wrap around, pull the legs in. Say thank you, body. Thank you, body. Uh-huh, you gotta give yourself gratitude also. Take it to one side and then upright. Join me seated. I'm an easy seated, you can sit any way. We're gonna to finish together with our three cleansing breaths. Thumb and first finger together, letting the arms drop. 
close the eyes if you like. Inhale, shoulders rise up to our ears. Let them go with that exhale. Again, shoulders rise up. Let them go. Last one, best one up. And release. As we finish today, stronger, healthier, more beautiful inside and out. Take this with you. Sweep the arms to the sky, open wide. As your hands come together in prayer, visualize that fireball of energy. Draw it in towards your chest, letting the hands touch, bowing that head. Having our chakras open and balanced, awakened. And then think about whatever it was you wanted to cultivate today and call in. Imagine you are overflowing with those things. So until we meet again, friends, may the force be with you. Namaste. Have a great Monday, great week. And Judy says namaste as well. Take care. You're a peaceful warrior. Bye-bye.